Recording started. All right. Um, we're going to continue talking about motion. This is describing motion part two. And basically we're talking about determining stopping distance. <clears throat> So we want to define some terms when we're talking about stopping distance. And the first one is the reaction distance. This is the distance a vehicle travels while the driver is reacting. Now generally you're going to use the formula D or distance equals V times T, velocity times time, to calculate the, the reaction distance. So it's sort of dependent upon the reaction time. Once you know what the reaction time is and you know how fast the vehicle is moving, then you can find the reaction distance. So obviously the, the slower the reaction time, the greater the reaction distance. Okay, and also the faster uh, you know a vehicle is going, the greater distance is going to travel during the reaction time. Now braking distance is the distance the vehicle travels from the moment the brakes are applied to the time the vehicle stops. So the braking distance is going to happen after the reaction distance. Now generally you're going to be using the formula D equals VIT plus one half AT squared because acceleration is involved, uh, well a deceleration is involved in braking. Now you can sometimes also use the equation VF squared equals VI squared plus 2AD to calculate the braking distance as it also is a, an accelerated motion uh, formula. Okay, so the A in, in either of these formulas is going to be represented by a negative number because the acceleration is opposite to the direction of travel. Okay, and you could also say that the final velocity, if you're talking about braking distance, is going to be zero because you're coming to a stop. All right, so to determine the stopping distance, you're going to take the reaction distance plus the braking distance. So once you've calculated the reaction distance and the braking distance, you add them together and you have your stopping distance. So here's an example. Unfortunately, it seems to be a little bit jumbled. Okay, now it says if a car is traveling at 75 kilometers an hour and has a reaction time of 1.5 seconds. Okay, so I'll put down my variables. Uh, reaction time. Reaction time equals 1.50 seconds um, and decelerates at 5.2 meters per second. Acceleration equals negative 5.2 meters per second squared. <coughs> and uh, what is the stopping distance? Okay, so stopping distance is what we're looking for. Okay, now it also tells us an initial velocity, 75 kilometers an hour. Now we're going to change that to meters per second. So we're divide by 3.6. So the velocity is going to equal uh, 20 0.83 meters per second. Okay, so this is the information we have to begin with. So first of all, we want to calculate the um, reaction distance. So that distance is going to equal velocity times time. So we'll just put in the velocity of 20.83 meters per second and multiply that by 1.50 seconds. Okay, and that will give us uh, a value of 31.25 meters. Okay, so this is the reaction distance. All right, so we know that the stopping distance is the reaction distance plus um, the braking distance. So the braking distance we can read down here a little bit better. Okay, braking distance. So the initial velocity is 20.83. Final velocity is uh, 0 meters per second. The acceleration given, negative 5.2 meters per second. We're looking for the distance. 
<coughs> so we can change this formula around the VF squared equals VI squared plus 2AD to um, equal VF squared minus VI squared over 2A, all of that equals D. Now since VF squared is 0, we can pretty much cancel that out. Then we end up with a negative 20.83 meters per second, uh, which is all squared, divided by 2 times negative 5.2. And that comes out to be 41.72 meters. So the stopping distance is going to be the reaction distance plus the breaking distance. So we'll take our first answer, 41.25 meters, and add it to our second answer, 41.72 meters, and obtain the answer of 73 meters. Now taking a look at the information we had to begin with, we should have an answer rounded to two significant digits, which we do. Okay, so this isn't a really big topic. That's about all we want to discuss today it was uh, stopping distance. So after you have um, watched this tutorial, make sure you submit a tutorial summary. Have a good day.